Hello all. Welcome to the course Basic C Sharp and ASP.NET using Visual Studio 2015 introduced by Technolytics Take IT Easy. In today's practical, we are going to create an application to demonstrate following operation. The first operation is generate Fibonacci series. What is a Fibonacci series? The Fibonacci numbers are the numbers in the following integer sequence 0, 1 are the first basic numbers which will be displayed. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and likewise, this series of sequence will be followed. To create this Fibonacci series, we are going to write this program. On top, we have used system namespace. Inside this, we have created user defined namespace FIB. Inside this, we have created a class program. And here, the entry point is there, that is main method. Here, inside main, we have created one variable with the name n, and we have initialized it to the value 5. The reason is that this Fibonacci series will generate 5 numbers. Here, on the next line, we have created three variables a, b, and c. A and B are the initial numbers, as I told you in the previous slide. The first number is always 0, and the second number is always 1. So that the accordingly, next next number will be the sum of previous two numbers. And C, C here we have initialized to 0. So that in future, we will store A plus B value in the C. Next, we, have, we are checking whether N is equal to equal to 0. Since we have already mentioned the value of n is 5 over here, obviously this situation will never occur. But in case, if we are accepting this n from the user, in that case, we need to check whether user has entered n as 0. Then in that case, we have to display the output as 0. If this condition is not satisfying, else then it will go in this loop and it will display the first two numbers as 0 and 1. After that, we have written one for loop where your i value will vary from 2 to less than n. Now, 2, y2, the reason is that i0 already you have displayed as 0, i of 1 already you have displayed as 1. So, obviously, the next address is what? 2. So, it will start from 2 and till less than n. Here, in our case, n value is 5. So, this loop will run for 2, 3 and 4. That means 3 times it will run. Now, what will happen in this loop? As I told you, the first two numbers, that is A and B, the total of these two numbers will be stored in C. But ultimately, A equal to B. That means we have to move ahead one number ahead. So, A we are storing B value in A and C value in B. So we are making A equal to B and B equal to C. And we are displaying that total that is C on the next line. So what will happen to uh, friends? Here, every time we are going to store the previous two numbers, the sum of previous two numbers in C and we are going to display the value of C. Again, we are moving those two numbers ahead. We are storing the sum in C and we are displaying the value in C. Accordingly, we are going to display the Fibonacci series further. Let's see the output of it. See, you are supposed to get the output like this. Let's check it in Feature Studio 2015. I have already copied that program over here and now I am using the key combination of Control and F5 to run this program. See, you can see. Since our C, our n value was 5, we have got 5 numbers. 0, 1, which were the basic numbers. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. So altogether, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 numbers we have got. Let's see if I'm changing this value from 5 to 9. Now, I should be getting the 9 numbers with the Fibonacci sequence. Let's try. Yes, I have got nine numbers and the 
logic is same that the third number is the sum of previous two numbers so accordingly you can see we have generated nine fibonacci series over here so that was the logic of fibonacci series on behalf of team technolytics i thank you all for attending today's session and wish you all a very happy learning please like and subscribe our channel for more and more such practicals